Cloudcast Media presents from the massive studios in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hello, I'm Aaron Delp and want to talk to you a little bit about cloud applications and architectures. Um, really the cloud, since we've recorded some other videos, has really broken down into two traditional types. There's old applications and new applications. Now, what exactly is an old application? Old application is Exchange, SAP, a, a .NET application, where we go through this infrastructure and the, the virtual machine or the application at the bottom really assumes that all of this is redundant. So if you start at the top here, you've got your layer two switching, typically kind of VLANs and everything is, is connected between each other. And then you've got some kind of hypervisor in here. Again, everything kind of cross-connected everywhere. Going to a SAN, when SAN will typically have a service processors. So one or two service pro processors in there for redundancy. So again, cross-connected here. Talking to some disks, those disks will typically be put into a RAID array configuration. So you'll have some parity bits going across here. And everything is spread out so that what happens is with your application, if any piece fails here, the application has no idea. This application just keeps going. He assumes that everything here will be up and running at all times. And so what we have to do is if a part fails, we get this corrected and we keep moving on. But again, the application has no awareness uh, actually of the underlying infrastructure. Now, if we look at kind of this new applications, this is kind of media streaming applications, web scale applications, developed in a much different way. That is because this, this virtual machine or this application at the bottom, it understands the idea of resiliency and availability of all of the underlying pieces and it actually expects any of them to go down. So at the top here, instead of layer two, we're doing software defined networking here. A lot of projects out there, a lot of products out there where you know if a node fails, no big deal. We just kind of keep moving on. Hypervisors in the middle are even bare metal as well. And again, something fails, we keep moving on. Object storage or block storage typically at this storage here. With this block storage, we're gonna have these two service processor model here, but the object storage, object storage is different in the fact that it's storing multiple copies of your information across multiple nodes. The reason why it does that is again, if one fails, you still have multiple copies within the ring of the object storage. And again, the virtual machine and the application will be able to really recover and respond to any incident that happens in the underlying infrastructure. So vastly different underlying architectures and then also vastly different ways in which these applications are written. Again, this application has no concept of redundancy or resiliency. This one is written fully aware of the underlying infrastructure. Thank you.